Well, what is up guys? Check it out, we're back at a Toyota dealership. The last time I was at a Toyota dealership, we picked up the AMG and I was with Brian. Today I'm with Brian again. I'm not the one buying a car, it's Brian. It's new car day. Yeah, I mean, Look at him vlogging over here. Look at him vlogging. <laughs> There's a Supra and a GTR. Did you buy a GTR? Huh? Did you buy a GTR? Yeah, yeah, that's what I bought. All right, so what did Brian buy? He bought a Dodge. No, he didn't. He bought the new 2021 Toyota Tundra Trail Edition. Check out this color, man. It's like a cement gray. I think that's what it's called as well. This truck is super nice. So it has cloth interior, which I don't mind at all. It's very nice. I've never driven a Tundra, so maybe at some point I can drive it. I like this truck. Nice truck, Brian. Nice truck, nice truck Brian. Glad you approved. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm super excited. Huh? So, how many mods? Mods, mods. And then what are mods coming? Oh, Brian's going to put an exhaust on there, maybe yeah. some wheels. Exhaust, intake, uh, wheels. Tune, maybe. Yeah. So you right. gotta check out Brian's channel. I'll link it in the description. Pipsburg Views. Yeah, oh wow, he has t-shirts now. Look yeah. at you. Merch yeah. King. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Where's the key? Do you have the key? No, I don't know what it shows with this. We gotta start over. We gotta get a cold start. I know, we gotta get the first ever cold start. Okay, definitely needs an exhaust. Straight pipe, straight pipe, straight pipe. It's three hundred and fifty-five dollars. Yeah. But he did not. He said, "Oh, ready like a truck." Brian's complaining about dock fees, nickel and diamond, but whatever. Here's Brian's new truck. Let's see uh, what he comes up with on his channel. He wants to do mods and you know, do a little build series. We'll, we'll see what he comes up. with. home in the garage awesome for Brian he finally has a new truck or a new vehicle on his channel that he can create content with so head on over to his channel in his comments tell him to straight pipe it anything else is completely unacceptable but for the rest of today's video we're gonna talk about the vehicles that we have in the little fleet so far as you guys know uh, these two cars right here fully straight piped this one even has long tube headers and fully straight piped catless Catless. We all love it. Sounds amazing. Probably not the best for the environment. We also know that the Danger Ranger is back. Now, Wifey's vehicle is since 2018 the Ford Raptor. And look at this. I don't know if I mentioned this on the channel already. For long term subscribers, you know that she already did that once on the driver's side. Now it's here on the passenger side as well. And I guess what I should say is a Raptor so wide. So if you do rub up against a, you know, a pole or, or something like that, it's this fender flare that takes most of the beating and this just pops off. And if you order a new one, you can just pop it on. But in regards to the Raptor, we all know my wife loves this thing. There's pretty much nothing on the market that she would want to trade this in for and get something else until now. General Motors just announced that they're coming out with a new Hummer, Hummer EV. And fun fact, way before there was an Autoblog YouTube channel, we actually had an H3 Hummer. Obviously never featured on the channel. Now for some reason, I'm having a, like major problems finding a picture of this Hummer. I, I found one, but it's horrible. I'll put it up here on the screen. It was a black 2006 H3 Hummer with a five cylinder. It had an aftermarket exhaust on it that was on there before my wife even bought it. She bought it before she even met me. It sounded pretty good, but it was very underpowered, but it was a cool SUV and she loved it. She had it for four years before she met me. And then we had it for another five years after that. And then we traded that on 
my previous F-150 that used to be hers, which she had for three years, then I took it over and then I got her the Raptor. She's the type to keep her vehicles for a very long time. I really don't. I mean, I've had the Ferrari for a year and a half. That's pretty long. Only had this since March. Had the uh, Danger Ranger for a few months, Raptor since 2018. When we saw the Hummer EV, we were like, that's it. It'll be the first electric vehicle that we have on the channel. We'll kind of make up for uh, at least these two crazy things right here. <laughs> Do something for the environment and also get a thousand horsepower and 11,500 pound feet of torque. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up in the office and we're gonna reserve one. But wait, before we do that, I haven't plugged the merch site in a very long time. In PA at least, we have uh, fall now. It's, it's getting colder. I'm wearing the AV hoodie. I even have the bomber jacket that we have. We got black on black AV badging right there. Always wearing the hat though. So if you guys want to help rep the brand, go to shopautoblog.com. We got tons of cool stuff. Pick something up that you like. Send me a DM on Instagram or create a story on your Instagram and tag me and I'll share it. All right, let's jump upstairs. All right, so here we are and I apologize. <laughs> It is kind of messy in here, but I wanted to give another quick update because I forgot while we were standing down there. The F-150 that we have coming, the 2021, was supposed to be scheduled to be built on November 9th. Now it's being pushed back to November 13th, and apparently Ford has tons of them built, and they're just sitting waiting to be shipped, but they haven't yet. Ford's not releasing them. I don't know why. So hopefully, hopefully, if all the stars align or whatever, we'll have it by the end of November. But most likely we'll have it sometime in December. That's what I'm thinking. So I thought I'd mention that real quick before we take a look at the Hummer here. But yeah, let's go. So like we said, this thing has 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque. It's the first truck in the world, I think at least, that has something called crab walk. So the truck can technically move diagonally when you're uh, really off-roading and it's in tight spots. The thing looks amazing. It's very futuristic. Just look at these charging indicators in the headlights. I mean, how cool is that? I, I just, I love this thing. It's absolutely awesome. So there's four different ones that you can reserve at the moment. The first one that's gonna be coming out is the Edition 1, and this is the one I want. This is the one that everyone would want. I would assume this is the one that has a thousand horsepower and 11,500 pound feet of torque. And this is supposed to be released in fall of the next year. Then the Hummer EV3X is going to be coming out as well. 2022. That also has three motors, but it only has only 800 horsepower and 9,500 pound feet of torque. <laughs> and then the year after that, we have a Hummer EV2X. So they start kind of like dumbing them down a little bit. Less power, 625, 7,400 pound feet of torque. And then the Hummer EV2. So that's 625 horsepower. Again, 7,400 pound feet of torque. They're just different versions. This is the all decked out one. This is the one I want. And I'm assuming that half of automotive YouTubers are gonna get it as well, but I don't care. We're gonna have fun in this thing. Wifey's gonna be super happy and that's what matters the most to me. Everyone thinks that, you know, I'm just saying that as an excuse. Oh, it's for wifey. It actually is for her, but I'll be creating tons of content with this thing. It, this, it, I mean, it's just, it's badass. So let's click on reserve yours. So choose your trim, choose your dealer, provide your info, complete reservation agreement. And uh, I actually saw this here earlier. Wah, wah, wah. It really sucks because the edition one, as you guys can see, reservations are full. I'm uh, too late to the party, which really sucks. But there's something else that we can do here. As you guys can see right here, Hummer EV edition one reservations are full. Reserve another trim. Click the wait list box within the reservation form and you'll be added to the edition one wait list. So what we're going to have to do is reserve this little lesser model with only 800 horsepower. I think this is more of a street version because it says it's got 22 inch wheels. It doesn't have crab walk mode, all this stuff. Um, but either way, we're gonna reserve that one. It's not the one that we want, but we're gonna reserve that one and then just hope that we get an allocation if maybe someone you know, opts out or, or whatever. I mean, if you're watching this and you work for a big Chevy dealership in the country, hit me up if you can help out in any way but uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to pick the local uh, Chevy dealership or GM dealership here and then uh, hope for the best. That's all I can do for now. So let's cl click here, reserve, choose your dealer. So the reservation amount is only $100. <laughs> 
that's funny. I guess that's kind of like a Tesla thing. You know, you reserve your your uh, allocation here for a hundred bucks. All right, so all the personal information is filled out. All we have left is the uh, credit card. Obviously, I'm blurring this out for you guys so you don't see it. All right, so everything's filled out. Let's submit the reservation request. All right, so I submitted the reservation request. It says that it's processing my information. I haven't gotten a confirmation email yet, but yeah, I mean, we, we should be good, I guess. I wish I would have gotten a confirmation email like right away, but uh, yeah, hopefully there's no issues. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to check up on this again, but uh, the, the full plan is to get the Hummer EV Edition 1, the one with 1,000 horsepower, 11,500 pound-feet of torque, do some awesome content, have an electrical vehicle on the channel for the first time. You guys know I love naturally aspirated engines, big displacement, straight piped and loud. I love it. That's never going away. But it will be cool to have an electric vehicle as well for the first time. I'm not against electric vehicles at all. I just don't, you know, like the idea of the whole automotive industry moving towards only electric vehicle. I mean, there's just something special with combustion engines, the smell of fuel and fumes and the sound and, you know, I mean, it just is. You can't just eradicate that all in all. But electric vehicles are coolest, but especially since they have all the torque available from zero RPM. I don't understand how a vehicle like drivetrain components and stuff like that, how they even manage 11,500 pound-feet of torque from the get-go. It's not like it's building. It's right away, especially on a big vehicle. That's a truck. GM says that that thing is supposed to do zero to 60 in three seconds. Three seconds. I'm sure it's going to weigh like freaking seven tons. Three seconds. It's just, it's, it's amazing. And I'm excited. I mean, it's at least a year left, you know, if we get a reservation for the additional one, because that's the only one I want. And I don't really want the other one, the one that we reserved. I just want to be on that list to be able to get on uh, the additional one list. Hopefully, please, please. So if anyone can help me out and you're sitting out there in internet land and you see this video and uh, you got the connects, hit me up, please. We'll be trading the Raptor in. So that, that's the vehicle that'll be leaving for this to arrive. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Help me out if you can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go uh, to Brian's channel. Tell him congratulations on his new truck, amazing truck. Uh, can't wait for my F-150, we can't wait for the Edition 1 whenever it comes. So give this video a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe, pick up some merch, and I'll see you in the next one.